Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be doing and reviewing some art challenges from TikTok. Okay, so here's a new art challenge. Draw one of your characters with this absolute nightmare of a filter, uh, and then show us what they actually look like. I'm so curious how people are drawing successfully with this because it makes me want to bash my head in. Anyway, good luck. So this one is up first because it is the one that got me inspired to do some more challenges. Um, I was really interested in this. This is actually a filter on TikTok for some reason. There's a filter where it just puts this like mostly opaque um, paper texture and then you can draw on the screen and it's super strong stabilizer, like incredibly difficult to draw with. Um, and at first I was like, oh, I think I can do a pretty good job with this. Um, but then I realized after I had drawn like most of Planchette, that um, I wasn't recording. Um, I forgot that I actually had to record it for the, the TikTok. And then I realized the biggest problem here is gonna be the friggin' time limit because even when you put it at three times speed, it is just not a lot of time. It's, I mean, it's really, really goes by so fast. So it's actually embarrassing how many times I had to try and do this. I just kept running out of time before she even had like her, you know, her main iconic things on her. All I really wanted was her head, her hair, her hat, and like her sleeves. The other thing that got really frustrating is that um, it's such a small amount of your screen that you can actually draw on, like the, the area where you can make your like pen bigger, I guess, um, is so far like inward into the area where you'd want to be drawing and it's like, uh, <laughs> it's just such a pain. It was so painful to draw in. Um, so this was a pretty rough start to the challenge, but I really thought that it would be a good one because, um, you know, it's, it's actually like baked into TikTok. It felt uh, very native to the app. So I'm going to give it high marks for its um, originality. I haven't really seen anything like this anywhere else, obviously, because it's directly related to TikTok, but I would probably dock it points for the fact that you can't really make anything good with it. It is kind of fun to see the transition between um, your, you know, your scribble version of your character and the character themselves. Well, overall, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Okay, so here's a new art challenge. Draw one of your characters with this absolute nightmare of a filter uh, and then show us what they actually look like. I'm so curious how people are drawing successfully with this because it makes me want to bash my head in. Next up is this cute little draw this in your style. I thought I would go to something a little bit more basic um, and I've never actually done one of these so I thought it would be really fun and I loved the character a lot. Um, so I really just wanted to do my best and make the best version of this that I could. Um, the TikTok itself doesn't actually require you to film while you're drawing which is really helpful when you're trying to make a YouTube video. Um, I, I don't know if my brain power is just not where it should be um or if i'm always working too late but like i actually found juggling the filming on my phone vertically and the filming of you know the actual part that i'm drawing for the the video um it was extremely complicated to make sure that everything was recording correctly um and there were lots of instances where i kind of like had to hold my phone over my tablet which is like not not ideal obviously um so this one was just like a nice break um i just really wanted to like take all these elements in this character and just make them really my own i think that draw this in your style and like those kind of challenges are so um, great. Like, I know they're not the most original thing necessarily, but they're really, really helpful, especially if you're someone who feels like you don't understand your own style or that it changes a lot. Um, I find that these are the moments where I get really introspective about what makes my style really my own, and it, like, pushes it to be more me than, like, an average drawing that I would probably just draw straight out of my head. It's weird to think about, but, like, drawing someone else's character really brings out the, the you in yourself. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but anyway, I really wanted to like push the exaggeration and make sure to use my like shapes and the irises and stuff. Um, I don't know, it just felt, it felt very, very nice to sort of come back to all of those details that are really uh, like my signature thing. Um, this little jester costume that this character is wearing is so cute. Um, I really liked it and I liked the fact that this character also was like in grayscale. Um, I ended up putting like a slight tint of color but I tried to keep it really like authentic to the original image. 
um, obviously. Uh, I didn't want to go like too too crazy to the point where it doesn't look like the character anymore. Um, I was really torn about how to do the legs actually because I love the way the legs were done on the original character where they're sort of like they start skinny and they go down to like these big wedges um, but uh, I ended up going with just like sort of scrawny bird legs just because I, I thought it would fit well with the outfit and with my style. I think I would give this challenge probably an 8 just based on the fact that I think it's really cool and like a fun symbiotic kind of art challenge. Um, I only dock points because it's maybe not the best for actually putting on TikTok because TikTok's a little short for this kind of thing, but I really liked it. Art challenge. Let's make a magical girl. First, generate a random color palette. Make the hair your hair length. Use your birth month to decide the theme. I got bunnies. If you have piercings, give her piercings. And don't forget to give her an animal psychic. If you give this a shot, I'd love to see. So I've done one of these like challenges before where different parts of your person or your personality or your birthday, your gemstone, you know, all of these things come together and become your, you know, elements of your character design. And honestly, like, I wasn't really fond of these at first. Um, I think I ended up realizing that I was just sort of picking the wrong ones because sometimes they're extremely specific. Like, you have to put on a specific type of wings onto your character or they have to have, like, you know, a fox tail or something, which can really throw off the whole aesthetic um, that you might be going for. I really like this one in particular just because I felt like it gave you enough restriction and enough freedom to really let you um, explore different things and still feel like you get some say over how the end product turns out while also having that sort of comforting level of restriction. Um, so this one I ended up liking quite a bit. Honestly, when I do these challenges, it feels the most like just doing any other regular character design video on my channel, almost to the point where uh, I wish that I'd picked other things because I obviously want these TikTok challenges to feel different from my normal character design videos. But on the other hand, I don't think I ever would have drawn a rain themed magical girl with a rat angel, um, you know, <laughs> animal friend and, uh, you know, a little umbrella hat. I don't know if that ever would have come up if it weren't for this challenge. So I suppose there is some elements of it that should feel pretty different. Honestly, I kind of want to demote the first uh, challenge a little bit down to like maybe a 6 because I feel like this one is actually like a 7 out of 10. Um, it's really fun and it's really like easy for anyone to jump in and just do. Um, it's really good for like warming up because it's got some restrictions and kind of gives you some guidance but still lets you have fun with it and do kind of, you know, whatever you want with what you have. Um, so I feel like this one is a solid 7 out of 10. Pretty fun and I would recommend it. It, uh, if you're, you know, art blocked and want something to draw. Art challenge. Let's make a magical girl. First, generate a random color palette. Make the hair your hair length. Use your birth month to decide the theme. I got bunnies. If you have piercings, give her piercings. And don't forget to give her an animal psychic. Here's an art challenge for all you artists out there. Draw a picture with one continuous line without picking up your pen or pencil even once. Let's see what you come up with on your first try. No do-overs. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was gonna be an easy one. I remember doing this in like elementary school or something, and I figured as long as I didn't get too ambitious with it that it would really be not that bad. Um, but this was another one that I realized I was going to have to film live. Uh, otherwise, you can't really prove that you're not like picking up your pencil, especially with, you know, digital. Um, so I had an extremely frustrating time trying to make anything even halfway decent. And I accidentally discovered a, a truly horrifying problem. Um, I mean, obviously, whenever you're drawing somebody's face, uh, it's, it's difficult 
in this style to <laughs> draw the facial features without, you know, the, they need to connect somehow. And I accidentally made this horrifying like puppet mouth woman, which then gave me some inspiration on how to make my version of this TikTok a little bit special. Um, I ended up recording this uh, very creepy puppet mouth woman um, where it looks like her jaws kind of like detached. It's got a very Jim Henson vibe, which I've always been terrified of Jim Henson's puppets. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I decided to cut the TikTok right before it ends and then go in and, you know, like render out and color my little abomination um, while, uh, you know, while the TikTok was on pause, I guess, uh, while it was waiting for the, the final clip. Um, I thought it would just be kind of funny, I guess, to give a lot of love and time and rendering to this like extremely bad uh, you know, one line drawing because I just honestly couldn't make it look cute. Um, the one that has the most like views in this challenge, at least with the sound, um, is just like a simple butterfly that just is like very well executed. And I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I wanted to push myself to draw a human face and you know, it ended up creepy and I wanted to just embrace it at the end. I'm going to give it a four out of 10 cause I had such a bad time with it, but I recommend you try it for yourself. <laughs> Here's an art challenge for all you artists out there. Draw a picture with one continuous line without picking up your pen or pencil even once. Let's see what you come up with on your first try. No do-overs. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I hope you had fun watching me attempt all of these and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much to my patrons, including Munch Munch McGee, Jess Frenick, Dude What, Matilda Minchin, Golden Castles, Azarag Clazel, Snoodles, Al Kappa, Winkus Wonkus, Aki, Blue, Zero Expectations, Wulu Luna, Lilia Lurd, Hazel Tiffia, Elizabeth Ward, The Expressive Poker Face, Morrissey, Axel Huddle, Chris Draw, Subaki, Juliana Davis, Yume Lily, Snow White, The Becky, Liliana Hammond, Ya Lavali, Angel File, Q Musgrove, Nicole Ludwak, Nicolette Queen, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Best Kaiju, Lion, Storm Scribbles, Tom David Johansson, Yvonne Rodriguez, Larry Louie, Nora Cornelson, Joseph Copel, Colin Lariano, Dr. Casket, your boy is T, JJ Jade, and of course, Lebla Blah Blah.